In this video, I'm going to be discussing a problem in education, which is the lack of BAME teachers, but more specifically, the lack of black teachers in leadership roles. Before we begin, I want to give a bit of a background on my political stance and what this involves. I'm looking at this problem from a socialist critical perspective. This stance causes radical change as it uncovers problems, challenges assumptions and ultimately abolishes the inequality that comes with society's perception of race. I have combined this with the work of critical race theory as they too believe change is needed. One of the ways it does this is through the importance of narrative and the power that voice can provide. And so throughout this problem, I will be drawing on black student and teacher insights. So let's begin by looking at statistics which were published by the Race Disparity Audit recently. When looking at general teacher populations, the majority of teachers in England were white British with fewer than one in seven coming from an ethnic minority group. When looking specifically at leadership, more than nine out of 10 head teachers were white British. However, this statistic did not give a specific percentage for the different amounts of black, Asian or minority ethnic individuals, instead only grouping them collectively. Already this highlights critical race theory's importance of narrative due to the current lack of voice. In the past few years, newspapers have featured the problem of the lack of black teachers in leadership roles. Diversity in school leadership. The higher up you go, the harder you have to fight. Black and ethnic minority teachers face invisible glass ceiling in schools, report warns. Just 39 secondary head teachers in England are black, research shows. Diversity among private school students is rising, but heads aren't following suit. These hard-hitting headlines spark questions to me. If the public and media are aware, why is no one acting? Why has this problem developed and how could it be solved? Let's investigate these thoughts further. When looking at why the problem has developed, Flintoff found that black student teachers often look back at their own educational experiences. And so I'm focusing on the effect the curriculum and the stereotyping of black students may have had on black teachers in leadership roles. Firstly, a cultural conservative political stance is where they believe that Britishness is solely about portraying the greatness of white people, and this should be passed on to future generations via the curriculum. They do this by the content being focused on white supremacy, where white people are shown as leaders, the heroes, and the literary greats. This quote by a black student teacher shows this. I'm tired of arguing with those white people because they won't listen. It seems like if you can't quote Vygotsky or something, then you don't have the validity to speak. But this research by Del Pitt was said 30 years ago. Surely that's not the case now. The following book is used in academia to show some of the great contributors to the education field throughout the years. I thought it would be interesting to see how many of these people were black. So what do you think? Well, there were two. W. E. B. Debo and Anna J. Cooper. How many times have you heard about them? Or like Del Pitt's research, the floods of white males like Dewey, Locke or Piaget are mentioned more frequently. Nyack's research found that a recurrent feature in black narratives of schooling is a feeling of being continually positioned by racial discourse and an expectation to play particular roles. But this was said over 20 years ago. Surely that's not the case now. Looking again at the recently published race disparity audit, 
It found that in both education and wider society, black individuals' behaviour was seen more negatively. Not only this, but Tomlin's research found that black students' interests were also stereotyped. But how would you feel if you were labelled like this? Would you feel a teaching career would be suitable for you? If you have been constantly negatively labelled about your own behaviour, would you feel comfortable being in a leadership position where you may have to discipline others for negative behaviour? These negative experiences of schooling may be contributing to this huge problem. A problem where black teachers feel unable or are not given the opportunity to take on leadership roles, all because they have been labelled another race by society. It's not fair. We need change so that teachers and leadership are representative of their pupils and society. So what do we do? Why do we have research that was conducted 20 or 30 years ago that is still applicable to today's educational problem? Well, it shows that a socialist critical solution is needed. This is because too many similarities can be found in research published years ago, and so radical change and transformation to society is needed. This will be done in a two-stage approach, teacher training and schooling. Has been found that there is a shortage of teachers who have been prepared and equipped to recognise the role that race and culture should and do play in education. Therefore, current teacher training content needs to be transformed so more black educators are studied, as this will help deconstruct the current stereotypes that we have discussed previously in this video. Also, in keeping with critical race theory, we need to open the discussion about the lack of black teachers in leadership as part of the continuous professional development of teachers so that everyone is aware of the problem and can help support the application and recruitment process of BAME individuals. This is particularly important due to the large white teacher workforce who may not have been aware of the inequality others are facing due to the curriculum that they have had. Not only this, but support for BAME individuals who are student teachers or teachers who would like to apply for leadership roles could be strengthened through a mentor system. All of these steps will help increase the amount of BAME teachers and raise awareness and support to black teachers considering leadership roles. But while we need to recruit a more ethnically diverse teacher cohort that is more representative society, if we don't change the education system, no black students will want to train in an education system where they feel that they have been mistreated by. And so, changes to the current curriculum must be made. Firstly, abolish the current hidden curriculum of white supremacy that we previously discussed when looking at cultural conservatism and include more black and BAME aspirational figures in the content. Secondly, make multicultural education more complex. Multicultural education involves initiatives like Black History Month, but while this does show some of the struggle faced, why is it just one month to discuss it? Why not all the time? And why does it mainly focus on the racism that was apparent in the past, for example segregation? Racism against Blacks is still going on in education now, and so it needs to be discussed as a current and ongoing issue rather than one that has already been solved. This relates to my final point of dispelling the myth of colour blindness. Colour blindness is where individuals refuse to recognise that the categorisation of race has had a negative effect on individuals and they believe that everyone should be treated the same as they don't see colour. But this isn't true. Society's perception of race is damaging for BAME individuals. This conversation about an unequal education system needs to be discussed now because it is happening currently. In conclusion, I wanted to highlight the work of Nadidi Okozi. She's an executive of Teach First, striving to get the teacher cohort and education in general more representative of BAME individuals. 
One of the ways she applies critical race theory's importance of narrative is through documenting her journey and the changes she wants to make to education on social media. I feel that the following quote she posted truly summarises the socialist critical approach to the problem of the lack of black teachers in leadership roles. Fate whispers to the warrior, you cannot withstand this storm. And the warrior whispers back, I am the storm. So thank you for listening and here are the references that I used throughout this video.